Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Random Drop. And in this video, I want to talk about a franchise that has had an incredible impact on me, my love of video games, but also my surrounding friend group. Let's get into what used to be my favorite multiplayer franchise. Bottom bum bum ba dum bum. Hey everybody, before we get started, I just wanted to say, if you enjoy our content and want to stay up to date with our videos, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. Thanks. So, on to the video. So, Battlefield. I got introduced to the franchise in a weird time. It was actually Battlefield 1943. And I know, it's sacrilege. I didn't start with the PC games. And I started with this weird arcade Xbox game of the original 1942 that never got to come out to the PC for some fucking reason. But 1943 was the one that grabbed me and my friends. As a long time ago, we did play 1942 and its demo and thought like, oh, hey, like this is kind of like really cool. This massive, expansive multiplayer game. But like, no, we didn't all jump in on it, right? Maybe like my cousin had played it on his PC or something, but me personally never really got into it. So it wasn't until 1943, we gave that a shot and was like, man, this is really cool and fun. And we like the squad dynamics, the destruction, the vehicles, all that. And by then we've played Modern Warfare and all those games have come out by now. But Battlefield was like never really on my radar as a franchise for military shooters. And then, hey, we liked 1943, so my cousin's co-worker was like, hey, we should try this game called Bad Company out. And we did, and again, it was more of that. We fell in love with it. It's weird gameplay and a lot of, and really janky in a lot of ways. We loved running around with a knife and cutting people and taking their dog tags and how you would use the destruction for your tactics on how to navigate the level to get to the rush points. I remember times of us hanging out on a conquest point just kind of shooting the shit once we took it over and defending it from other squads. But other than my surrounding friend group, people at school and whatnot, no one was fucking talking about Battlefield, man. It was like this really niche franchise for the console market and the only people who knew about it were like old PC heads. Well, enter Bad Company 2. By then I had gotten really into the franchise and its developers and all the whole news cycle. By then I was already following the games industry as a hobby as I was just constantly consuming that information, watching GameSpot, reading IGN, Kotaku, watching Giant Bomb, and so forth. I was just really into the games industry in general. Then like Twitter was out and I was like, oh, I can follow these developers and see their takes on level design and weapon balancing and all that stuff. Jumping in on forums and reading the different dramas and what was in this game and what wasn't. And I, and I dove pretty damn deep back then, especially for how young I was. But Bad Company 2 was the game that I knew and I understood, hey, this is DICE's first chance and first big step to be that actual competitor. And boy, what a fucking game, man. Bad Company 2 is, I believe, probably still the best Battlefield game. And it's that's probably nostalgia in a lot of ways. But there's also a lot of game design decisions and, and simplicity of Bad Company 2 that really works that we kind of take for granted nowadays. But maybe I'll talk about that a little later. Me and my friend group played the Battlefield games continuing forward, and then we kind of stopped after Battlefield 4. And not for any particular reason, I think we just kind of grew out of it. We played a lot of those games at this point, and we were probably getting our fill out of MMOs or other shooters. Maybe it was like PUBG at the time or whatever else was out. But at this point, hey, we had jumped to other things, and maybe we we're just like a little bit bored and tired of the military shooter part as it was a whole fucking generation of military shooters back in the Xbox 360 era. Battlefield 1 did come out and I played it and I had a lot of fun, put like 80 hours into it, but my boys didn't come with me. I didn't have my squad. And if you know anything about Battlefield, playing with your squad and having those moments, those Battlefield moments with your squad is like the selling point. It's the whole fucking point of the franchise. It's the thing that when you play the game, it clicks and you're like, oh God, this is incredible. You can get that feeling with randoms, but it's way more fun when it's your buddies and your friends you know. Going through these incredible battles and hiding from tanks and blowing them up and flanking the enemy and winning the match for the team, there's still nothing like it. But as I said, didn't really happen for me with Battlefield 1 and I skipped Battlefield 5, or V, whatever the fuck they want to call it. And 2042 was a promising announcement and me and my friends jumped in on it and fell off. As you know how that story went in launch. I liked a lot of things about 2042, but man, it really 
they really fucked that up at the start. And I personally have a lot of feelings on why Battlefield fell for me or died for me over time. And I really want to get into that in this video. So I really want to talk about why Battlefield failed for me, how we got there, and where should we go next? So let's get started. Why did it fail for me? Where did the magic go? Bigger is not always better. I feel personally, Battlefield 4 onwards, DICE started to lose the point and started focusing on the wrong things. Having an insane obsession with player count, map size, overcomplicating the game loop, and choosing mass spectacle over tried and true level design. I think one of the biggest offenders for me personally was the player count thing. In Battlefield 2042, they were trying to advertise Oh, 124 players, it's gonna be so awesome and epic. But when you actually play it, it's a pile of shit. The feeling of your squad making a difference and mattering completely gone and annihilated. As there are so many players, it's hard to even counter anything. You're constantly getting shot at all directions, vehicles flying in the air, getting spotted by who knows what other enemy laying about, people constantly spawning in, and then with the vast swaths of distances between the, the locations on the map, being fucking empty and there's nothing on them, you just running with your squad and getting shot. It was no longer fun traveling through the level together and it felt like an overwhelming chore that you're constantly getting picked off on. In the interview to my left over here, Patrick Soderlund revealed that at some point DICE tested 128 players and they found it not fun. They straight up had already done this back in Battlefield 3 and tested gameplay with a massive amount of players and they found that 64 versus 64 is kind of the limit at a certain point and going any higher is just not fun. Of course they threw this away and completely forgot this was even a thing and now in Battlefield 2042 this game mode has scarred me forever with the whole concept. I thought when I was playing this, I was like, oh, I guess I just don't like Battlefield anymore. I guess I just don't find this loop fun anymore. To then realize when I come back to 2042 later, when they focus down to 64 player maps, I was having a blast. And whenever you get maps like Erica Harbor or old classics that actually have good design, you're like, oh my God, this game is good. This game is fun. What the fuck is this? Battlefield 2042 had such a huge misstep and level design and the chasing of the player count. And the graphic to my right shows them advertising of how much bigger these maps are and how much more expansive. It's big, it's big, it's big, it's gotta be bigger. It's gotta be bigger than the last. It's gotta be a bigger explosion, a bigger building falling down, more attachments, more progression, more numbers, more, 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 more. And as time has gone on, more games are trying to get our attention and more games are having the same approach of trying to give you more, 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 pull you in for hours and hours and hours. And I think a lot of people are just kind of sick of it. We're tired of like the FOMO battle passes and whatnot. We kind of just want to play a game and progress through it and have a good time. And we don't need the biggest graphics, the biggest explosions and all that shit. We just want a fun game. Battle Bit is a good example of that. That game looks like garbage on purpose, but the gameplay loop is solid. So that just shows you that just Battlefield never really needed to chase this 128 player system and have a million attachments. Bigger is not always better, is not even only for Battlefield. There's so many AAA games and AAA developers kind of chasing the bigger, the more graphic, the more, 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 the 100 hours, the big open world. People are just kind of getting tired of it and sick of it. They just want a solid experience. I don't give a fuck about that stupid ass building falling down if it adds nothing to the actual gameplay. I don't care about the dam that breaks open that really doesn't change the map at all, but you wasted all your development time and fucked up this map design to make a cool looking cutscene, I guess. Games have gotten so big and bloated, and I think personally it's a time to kind of pull it back a bit. And speaking of bloated, that gets into my next point. Being a trend chaser, not a setter. During Battlefield 4, this is when you could see the EA influence rear its ugly head. Oh, they have a solid franchise now after Battlefield Bad Company 2 and 3. Let's monetize it, baby! So with Battlefield 4, we had the crazy ass loot boxes, and then that's kind of just led us to where we are now with whatever the fuck happened with Battlefront, and now with all the specialists and the skins and all that bullshit they're trying to pull now. When what made this game so great is that it wasn't 
chasing Call of Duty. It kind of went on its own thing. It didn't go for the small map Twitch shooter demographic. It was doing its battlefield thing and it just wanted to do it better. More vehicles, more destruction, solid infantry gameplay, immersive sound and destruction, battlefield moments. It very much focused and tried to set itself apart by focusing on the things it was very good at. Again, the squad play, the destruction, and the immersion. Alongside vehicle warfare, I think those are the main pillars of Battlefield. Which is why I believe modes like Hard Zone and Firestorm completely failed. As they were trying to chase a trend again, and instead of looking at, hey, why do people like those modes? And how can we put a Battlefield spin on it? How can we still make it Battlefield while chasing the feeling people get when playing things like Tarkov or PUBG. But no, they did some half-assed copy and paste things that just either came too late or were just dead on arrival. When before, when DICE was asked, hey, how do we still make 32 players feel like all-out warfare, like in a Battlefield game? That's when they invented Rush Mode. And Rush is now a core pillar of the Battlefield series and is so goddamn fun. We could have had something like that. For a new, more high stakes mode, but either no one had any good ideas or they were just too fixated on what was right in front of them. But even with all the trend chasing and the microtransactions and their crazy obsession with size, nothing has done more damage to the series than this. And that is Battlefield's failure to launch. The fact that I can easily look up articles from years ago being like, yo, this launch is fucked up. Why? Why is this happening? Why is this so goddamn buggy? Now, mind you, Battlefield 3 Alpha was really, really buggy, but it was a fucking alpha and we knew what we were getting into. And it was pretty early on. And there were some bugs here and there and some hit detection at launch and whatnot with some of the games as you move forward, but nothing to the scale that was Battlefield 4 or Battlefield 2042 or some of the bugs in Battlefield 5. As these games felt so undercooked at certain points to the point where they're missing th basic things like voice comms and scoreboards, you can tell that this was just rushed out the door and players kind of just got sick of it and just fell off of the franchise. Lots of people kind of just look at Battlefield and give a shrug nowadays when it used to inspire like this awesome image of immersion and groundbreaking gameplay and multiplayer. But again, now we just kind of get a shrug and Battlefield 2042 is kind of swept under the rug and for those who stayed and stuck it out, have gotten a better game and it's, it's way better than it was before now. But how much better could have it been if it had a solid launch and a way larger player base to monetize off of and build off of? We could have had a whole Battlefield platform like Portal was supposed to be. And now that shit's just kind of chunked to the wayside and thrown off. And now they're planning a next Battlefield game that we have no idea about. And they're planning to go back to basics, but what does that really mean? If EA is smart, which they're not, but fuck it, let's let's pretend they're smart. They will give the next Battlefield time enough to cook so that we can actually get the Battlefield platform that we've been wanting, that we can play off of forever, and has game modes and maps for everyone, and is this massive thing that I would love to dump time into and play some battlefield matches but shit like this all around cannot be happening anymore let the game cook let the game freaking finish it's so sad to play battlefield 2042 now and realize man this is like a good and fun game except when you get the really shitty battlefield 2042 maps but it's a pretty good game that is just everyone has forgotten about and are not paying attention to anymore no matter how good it is and you may be asking yourself like hey how did we get here how did we start with this franchise that was really innovative for its time and come to here where basically no one wants to talk about it or just doesn't care that it exists for the most part, right? It is still a big AAA game, but it should be way bigger than it currently is. It should be Call of Duty's rival, while currently it feels like Call of Duty's weird friend that bothers him every now and then, I don't know. It's nothing compared to what Call of Duty is and especially was whenever Warzone came out. Call of Duty had a huge revival because of Warzone and Battlefield has just kind of been in the back not doing anything, kind of just sitting on its laurels and releasing shit like this. But how did we get here? How did all of this happen? So we got to go back a little bit and kind of retrace our steps. Battlefield started off on the PC only and released with 1942 
Battlefield 2, and Battlefield 2142. PC-focused multiplayer shooters that when they came out, they were incredibly mind-blowing for how huge the scale of the conflict was. Ships, tanks, infantry everywhere in these huge maps, squad commanders, and all that going on was mind-blowing. And I personally even went back to try to play it and try it out. And yeah, man, it was like really cool. I don't personally love how the gunplay was back then. But back then, Battlefield was a very different game. And it like inspired mods like Project Reality and all that stuff. And it had a really hardcore PC community that's kind of gone nowadays as Battlefield's way more mainstream. And it was around the end in 2007, EA bought out DICE. And things kind of started changing a bit. But I would call this first era of Battlefield the large scale era, as this was the introduction of large scale conflict to video games. And I bet there are tons of people who have incredible memories about these three games, but the franchise changed significantly after this. I call the next era the immersion era, as this is when Frostbite began to be developed and DICE and EA were chasing the console market to be posted up as Call of Duty's competitor. Ad Company came out and it was like fine and all right, but by then like Modern Warfare was out and stuff like that. So it was nothing mind blowing. It was just kind of like, hey, a fun, cool multiplayer game. We don't see games like this anymore, right? I think Space Marine 2 is the most recent thing where it came out and has a multiplayer mode that's like, oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Also had a single player and a campaign, but the multiplayer was like, all right and fun. And that's kind of how I feel about Bad Company 1 was is like, hey, those who really like it will really like it, but it's nothing that was going to cross over into the mainstream. Then we built up to Bad Company 2 and Frostbite improved further, and Immersion improved further with the gun sounds, the destruction, everything going on. And with Battlefield 3, the developers used their tricks that they learned from creating Mirror's Edge to further that Immersion aspect even more and getting rid of the more cartoony art style Battlefield Bad Company had. And again, focusing on animation and physics and audio as to really bring this battlefield to life as whenever you're moving through the game they want you to see your player's body and how it interacts with the environment and back then this was unheard of a lot of the movement for shooters way back when was like bad company 2 where it's like really jank and you're and you don't really see your body and you're kind of just like leaping over objects instead of vaulting over them in battlefield 3 when you're vaulting over an object you see your legs swing over when you're proning you see yourself grab the ground and pull yourself forward they were really hyping up their animation system and their sound system and their destruction that's why I call this era the era of immersion, as this is where it was built, where Battlefield was not only lar a large scale conflict anymore, it was now a massive, immersive, large scale conflict. And this continued to really Battlefield 4, I would probably consider in this era as well. But Battlefield 4s were all like the weird chicanery from EA started happening. But Battlefield Bad Company 2 to 3 to 4 are like the natural progression of the games. As when you play Battlefield Bad Company 2 and play Bad Battlefield 3, it feels like Bad Company 2 in a lot of ways in terms of how the destruction works and the gunplay works and all that. But it's natural progression going back more towards that military sim style that was in the original Battlefield 2. And then Battlefield 4 is a further continuation on top of that with the way you're able to like peek around corners and shit and just all the gameplay nuances they added more to that game it was a incredible experience and it was really immersive but that's when we get into the last part of the era the spectacle era this is when battlefield stopped focusing on immersion and stopped focusing on hey what's next how can we improve how can we make large scale battles even cooler and more awesome and they settled for more explosions and for more buildings falling down and didn't really focus on the battlefield moments or the squad play i personally feel at least battlefield 4 is is still an incredibly good game but all the microtransactions and the way the attachments work and how many of them are and all that shit just like it just really gets to me in a lot of ways and the way that like the map started being designed and more focused on these big buildings falling and all this dumb shit that like no one really cares about and how that affected development and how that affected the launch and all that stuff puts a sour taste in my mouth for battlefield 4 in a lot of ways but hey after all those patches and all that shit battlefield 4 is an incredible masterful game 
And Battlefield 1's a really fun game as well, but again, it, it started to become more of the same. There was no real new modes that really took off like Rush did way back when. Nothing new how Destruction really set the game itself apart from other shooters. And then it just started chasing towards more skins, more live service. And it really just kind of started losing its identity as like the forefront of video games, right? Of like, oh, hey, man, even cooler animation systems or systems that will integrate with gameplay like, again, Destruction did for the franchise. Just focusing on bigger and more spectacle. And those games are beautiful. One and B are super beautiful games that look incredible. But again, I just it just never grabbed me the way that Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, and Battlefield 4 did. Then we have the red-headed stepchild, Battlefield 2042, which was the culmination of this, of the spectacle era. Bigger, more people, more bodies, more characters, more skins, everything. And it stopped focusing on map design and stopped focusing on the balance of squad play against vehicle play and so forth. And led to this crazy hodgepodge and mashing that just was not fun. I seriously thought I didn't like Battlefield games anymore at the launch of 2042 until I played the 64 player match and realized, holy shit, this is much better. This is much better designed. The changes they've made to these maps is so much better. These older maps are so much better and so forth. And then me recently going back and playing Battlefield 3 and 4, realizing how much we lost in 2042 as the movement is gone and, and the, how like the vaulting felt and how the prone and crawl felt, how suppression is completely gone from the game as when you would shoot at people it would suppress them and blur their vision a bit. So that's a little bit harder to shoot back when you're under fire from a million fucking bullets. But all that stuff was gone and just pulled out the cover system where you would hide behind cover then aim with your gun and it would pop out the cover to aim down the corridor wherever you're shooting all that is just gone in 2042 and not that like 2042 is a bad playing game as i've played a lot of it recently it feels really snappy and good but it's just like too far in that direction and needs to pull back guns need quite a bit more spread they're too lasery and so forth it's trying to be too much like a call of duty twitch shooter and not like battlefield and they just need to pull it back a couple steps battlefield 4 and 3 is the perfect balance of those games need to play i think bad company 2 and battlefield 3 are the prime examples of how those maps should be designed and perfect examples of how those two intertwined created some of the most memorable gameplay ever and those are the three eras of Battlefield. The large-scale era, the PC era, really pushed boundaries in terms of how multiplayer was perceived. As most multiplayer games were like arena shooters and things like that, and not like these full-scale conflicts on your computer with 64 people. That, that stuff was nuts. But in the immersion era, a lot of that PC crowd felt like they were abandoned, as Bad Company 1 was not a PC game. And then, with Bad Company 2, it was very much a console-design-focused game, that stripped out a lot of things like modding and like I think initially it didn't have like a server browser there was no prone and so forth even though I personally love that there's no prone in Bad Company 2 and I wish other Battlefield games did this but you know hey maybe that's just me maybe I'm just fucking crazy but, but Bad Company 2 was so different to what had come before that a lot of the PC crowd felt abandoned and they put a lot of their hopes into Battlefield 3 which it did answer a lot of that but lots of them again still felt like oh the game is too small and it's like mainly designed for 32 players and the maps only have four points compared to the, like the large massive maps that Battlefield 2 had and so forth. So PC players felt like there's a lot lost on the way here but but for those folk that played both or just played console you had a really good and solid experience in the immersion era and this is probably really largely regarded as the best era including battlefield 4 even though i have my issues with battlefield 4 focusing too much on all the buildings falling and on the grand spectacle and really not adding much it was basically battlefield 3.5 as it pretty much felt the same the immersion era had industry defining sound design gameplay and destruction and or rebuilt what core battlefield was to what it is today in a lot of ways and battlefield 4 onwards this is where we got more into like the assembly line ea as a franchise now that can compete and they're gonna 
churn that shit out and try to make as much money as possible. And the cracks started to show over time with its troubling monetization aspects. It's clearly beta or alpha state and not really ready for launch. And then key figures of DICE begin to leave and it largely affects the development of Battlefield 2042. Then we get interviews like them saying they don't know why people like Bad Company 2 so much. And it shows just how out of touch to the franchise some of these developers or the people who work there are or EA are. How can you not understand the game that got you where you are today? You don't understand why people liked it. And videos could be made on the design of Bad Company 2 and why it worked and how it's still some of the best today. But clearly EA and DICE of today are just out of touch in a lot of ways and they've made improvements again with 2042, but it's a little too late. But I am okay with giving them one final chance. In a recent interview, it was discussed that Battlefield would be going back to basics. And that makes me really hopeful. But what does that mean? And where should we go? And I personally believe they need to return. We want you to do what you do best. Be unorthodox. Be lethal. Can you do that for me? We can do that, sir. gonna get real ugly. Battlefield Bad Company 3. For many people, Bad Company 2 was the defining game that brought Battlefield to the console market and made it way more mainstream and to go back and peel the layers and focus down on what makes Battlefield fun and improve and iterate on those aspects would be exactly where this franchise needs to go and Bad Company 3 is the testing field this is where you should do that stuff just like how Destruction was and how Rush was and here in Bad Company 3 you could try a new game mode that is high stakes that will bring in those types of players as well, but try to focus and make it uniquely Battlefield. As when EA was discussing the next Battlefield game, they said they wanted to do a campaign. And I, for the love of God, I can't understand why they would want to, as no one's really ever liked their campaigns, except for two, Bad Company 1, and especially Bad Company 2. And 2 ends in a way where we need a finality to that story and would make a great campaign. And set yourself apart from your competitors and be more wacky a little bit. Not even that much more wacky, really. It, it, it did have some serious moments and tones, but kind of loosen up a bit, man. Fuck around a bit. Let's have some fun. These are video games. And I think Battlefield Bad Company 3 would be the perfect solution as instead of doing this other military campaign that no one gives a fuck about that's so far up its own ass could go back to the sergeant haggard talking about the predator and shit like that Bad Company 3 would be the perfect way to peel back and go back to the basics remove all the bloat we don't need a million attachments Bad Company 2 worked with a couple of guns and a couple of perks and then you could customize them. I remember how the XM8 shoots. I remember how the PP2000 shoots and why I would use it and so forth. The guns in Bad Company 2 are so iconic because they all had their unique uses and then you could tune them somewhat but not to this crazy degree where you're basically specking out a fucking Path of Exiles character playing a shooter. Anytime we went in a war zone and you want to use the best gun, you just look up a guide online and see which gun everyone's using. And attachments and all that shouldn't work that way and it should be a lot more interesting, but also peel it back. There's just like way too many. Focus on the classes and maybe a couple perks and then an addition or two to the gun. And then lastly and finally, destruction. Destruction got peeled back a lot 
after 4 and onwards, and the franchise has suffered greatly for it. DICE should now understand the lessons it learned from having a level with too much destruction and too little, as I'm tired of these fucking indestructible hallways that have no way to counter them or flank them or blow up a wall, and it's just a meat grinder. And this hallway is in a big conquest map that has a concrete building that should be blow upable with tank shells or something. But no, it, it's like, especially 2042 gets it so wrong and bad, there's way too many dumb choke points. And again, Battlefield Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 3 have goddamn near peak level and map design that understands that this stuff will get destroyed, but there's still design around it considering the fact. I can't imagine what kind of crazy destruction and things they can do nowadays that they weren't able to do before if they were to just peel back all these systems that Battlefield has and just focus on the 64 or hell even the 32 as with good design and good game mode like Rush you could still make it feel like Battlefield. And lastly Bad Company 3 lets you just have fun with it. 2042 should have been in a time period where we could have gotten some wacky gadgets some wacky guns and try out different shit. That didn't happen. And Portal should have been this massive thing that led to the Battlefield platform where we could just play any era of Battlefield and have a good time with it. But that didn't happen as well. So like I said, with Bad Company 3, just let loose a bit. Try some shit out. Have crazy gadgets that probably wouldn't exist in the real world, but are fun to play with. I agree with EA that for Battlefield to continue forward, we gotta pull back a bit and reassess what Battlefield is. And I really think that if they give the developers time and leeway to try some shit out, I think we get something really cool out of it. But you gotta focus on the aspects of Battlefield. If you're trying to make a new game mode that is high stakes, hey, how can we make it uniquely Battlefield? How can we make it so that you still get those moments that you are with your squad hiding from a tank or taking a point. As many of us remember many Battlefield moments that we had playing these games. And all we want is just more of that. More fun with our squaddies, blowing up tanks, infiltrating bases, and taking points. Let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next Random Drop video. Peace.